What's up guys, it's your boy Ronjoy3000. If you caught my last couple of videos, you know I'm all about sniping right now. Did a montage last week and the week before that started a Road to Grizz series. Trying to go from zero to hero <laughs> with a sniper rifle. Uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. This particular commentary was actually going to be about how I like to warm up or practice for some sniping. Uh, this is combat training on Black Ops, obviously. I set it to recruit, put five bots on the screen. Play some team deathmatch, set my kill streaks as UAV and Blackbird, and just go at it. For this particular game, I think I have my perks set to Scavenger, Scout Pro, and Ninja. I think that's what I got set on. And for my L96, I just put the extended mag on it. And playing a map like Newtown, I get to work on quick scoping, drag scoping, hard scoping, and just basically how to maneuver around the map and make sure I put myself in the best possession whoa best possessions <laughs> best positions to take some good shots but uh, I'm not really gonna talk about that so much anymore um, got into a bit of a discussion on Twitter last night with my buddy makes believe XP and just saw a commentary from spiral down 86 actually that's not his YouTube channel anymore it's just spiral down about cod elite and there's been a lot of misinformation out there and I'm hoping that this particular commentary can clear some of that up. The biggest misconception about Call of Duty Elite and the premium subscription is that you're paying for stat tracking and that's absolutely incorrect and it's probably the biggest pet peeve of mine. I hear so many YouTube commentators or just regular folks saying, oh you know I'm not paying 50 bucks for stat tracking. Well guess what? No one is. That part is absolutely free. Anyone can get on CallofDuty.com right now and create a career profile. Anyone can get on CallofDuty.com and uh, customize their whatever class they want and send those changes directly to the game. Anyone can get on CallofDuty.com, start a clan, and invite their friends to join. I'm actually reading this information from the frequently asked, asked questions on the site. What you're paying for with your $49.99 subscription is surprise surprise the downloadable content you're gonna get it first you're gonna get it every month and you're gonna get it at a discount if you're like me and you bought the hardened edition of modern warfare 3 you save yourself 20 bucks if you would normally buy all of the map packs over a year i'm that guy i'm the guy that buys every map pack i have every map pack date dating back to cod 4 um, i don't have the map packs for world at war um, i just actually picked up that game and i doubt i'm gonna buy them but um you know for COD 4, for Modern Warfare 2, for Black Ops, um, I've got all the maps. And really, off the top of my head, I can only think of two maps that I dislike. And they're probably two of the biggest maps ever in Call of Duty. And those are just, not Discovery, they are uh, Fuel from Modern Warfare 2 and Hazard from Black Ops. I don't like those maps because I don't like large maps. That's it. Um, every other map uh, and every other map pack, um, I, I'm okay with. I, I don't dislike them. So if you're that guy that buys all the maps, it was really a no-brainer. Now, guys like uh, my buddy Mock Tactics, or I'm sorry, Felix Black of Mock Tactics, he bought Call of Duty Elite Premium primarily for clan support. Uh, we're three months in now, and clan support is practically non-existent. Clan Ops is not active. Uh, so for him, um, Call of Duty Elite may not have been a good buy. I'm not here to tell you that Call of Duty Elite is great. Um, me, myself, I haven't been able to access my multiplayer data for Modern Warfare 3 in about, that has been at least three weeks, going on a month. So, the Call of Duty Elite site, for me, is unusual. And I've been dealing with a bunch of idiots over there at Activision and their customer service trying to get it right. And it's, it's still just not working. But, I didn't pay for that. That part is free. And I'm not as bitter about it as I would have been if Say, for example, I wasn't able to get the DLC content. That's what I paid for, um, and that's something that would be an issue for me. But I'm over people spreading misinformation about what you actually get when you pay for something like Call of Duty Elite Premium. I'm going to leave a link to the frequently asked questions that I read from in this video. I'm also going to leave the links to Spiral Down, uh, Mock Tactics, Make Believe XP, uh, just because that's what I do. If I talk about something in my videos, I'm going to make sure I leave you guys a link so you can do some research on your own. Thanks again for watching. This is Rondre3000. Say peace, and I'm out.